Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. A mother of blood group O has a group O child. The father could be. And here is the five answers to choose from. And... Uh, I have a hint for you, this is not the answer E, we have a correct answer here, and before I will explain you how to solve this problem, let me list all the genotypes and phenotypes uh, in the ABO blood group system. So uh, we have uh, blood group A, this would be phenotype A, and this would consist of two genotypes. A, A, and A, O. And we also have blood group B. And blood group B phenotype can be made by two genotypes, B, B, and B, O. We also may have blood group A, B. This is also going to be a phenotype. And this can be made by only one genotype A and B, AB. Uh, also we can say that uh, this can be BA, but this is going to be the same. AB and BA is the same. So, uh, and blood group O, blood group O phenotype uh, also can be made by only one type of genotype, and this is going to be O, O. So now we are ready to solve this problem. So uh, everything we have to know just how to build the Punnett square. So if we um, take a look here at the answer D, uh, we have uh, mother that belongs to the blood group O. And that means her phenotype uh, O and genotype OO. And she has bl uh, blood group or child. That also means that uh, child's um, genotype should be OO. Can we get uh, uh, can we get child with this genotype if father AB? And let's build a Punnett square. So this is going to be uh, genotype of the mother O. O and A, B, genotype of the father. And now we build a Punnett square and we can predict what the genotypes of the child might have. So here we would have A, O and A, O here and B, O here and B, O here. So what does it mean that uh, if we have mother who is uh, uh, phenotypically O, her phenotype O, and uh, father whose uh, genotype would be AB, so we can put sign for the mother here and the side of the father. So as you see, uh, only um, two variants possible. The children can belong to blood group A or to blood group B. So it can be BO or AO and would belong to these two blood groups. So we can cross out this answer and now we can move to the answer uh, C, A or B and for example, if once again uh, mother of the child uh, would be O or genotype and father would be B and we can choose between B, B genotype and B, O and it is obvious that we can get uh, O, O child if we would choose this genotype. So let's do it. So here on the top we put genotype of the father and this is B O. Now we build a Punnett square. And as you see, 
here we would have B O B O here and that means uh, that the child uh, uh, phenotype would be B but here we would have O O and O O here and that means that uh, they may have a child with blood group O and let's check the uh, other possibility of the blood group A for the father so this is going to be another cross O O mother genotype and uh, AO uh, father's genotype and when we cross these two parents as you see we may have uh, 50 percent chances that they may have uh, a child whose uh, genotype would be OO and phenotype O. So uh, we can say that this would be correct answer and of course uh, if we cross uh, two parents whose genotype would be O and genotypically O 100% of uh, such offspring of such a cross would be um, blood group O so this would be also correct answer so this correct answer and this correct answer and uh, now we can move to this answer A uh, we already find that uh, the cross between um, phenotype A may produce uh, a child that going to be um, genotype OO or phenotype O we also find that uh, if we cross with, genot uh, with phenotype B of the father we can get a child who would belong to the blood group O and it is obvious that if we take two parents with genotype O, o of course uh, when we uh, have such a cross they would have 100% uh, progeny whose genotype going to be uh, OO and phenotype O. So all these three answers would be correct and that means that uh, answer A would be uh, the best to answer because here we have answered all the possible uh, phenotypes that can produce phenotype O and it is this uh, answer includes also uh, answer B and answer C so this is why we choose this answer now we can move to the next question uh, how many different genotypes can exist in population with the dominance hierarchy uh, GA uh, dominant over the uh, GB and uh, GB dominant over the GC and GC uh, would be dominant over GD actually in the textbook it was like uh, GA uh, dominant over GB and GB dominant over the GC and GC dominant over the GD. The problem looks like uh, complicated but actually not because uh, here we asked uh, how many different genotypes and I want to underline this uh, that we are looking for genotypes if we were looking for phenotypes this uh, uh, hierarchy would uh, make a sense but because we are talking about genotypes uh, this hierarchy doesn't make sense so we can just uh, cross uh, this uh, hierarchies here and also uh, what these letters means GA and GB and GC and GD that we have the same gene 
uh, but uh, different versions of this gene. We call them alleles. So actually, we can uh, rewrite uh, completely this uh, hierarchy as uh, just we have here uh, four alleles, alleles A, B, C, and D. So, so let me rewrite what we left. So this would be allele A, B, C, and D. Now uh, imagine that we have uh, two homologous chromosomes, and this is would be one chromosome, and this is going to be second, and we have a locus on one chromosome, and the same locus on the other homologous chromosome, and in this um, locus we may have different alleles. For example, here on this chromosome we may have allele. A and here on the second chromosome we may have say allele B or another combination can be A here and A here or B here, B here, C here and A here. So uh, there are many combinations exist but um, how many combinations we can find just uh, if we build a Punnett square, and this would be a list of uh, all alleles that we have here, A, B, C, and D, and we build a Punnett square, and now we can find uh, all the possible combinations, and this is going to be combination A, A, and um, B, A, C, A, and D, A. Here we would have A, B, and B, B, C, B, and D, B. Here A, C, B, C, C, C here, and D, C here, A, D here, B, D here, and C, D here, and D, D here. And uh, that doesn't mean that we have 16 combinations. So we have uh, a square 4 by 4. So total number would be 16. But this is not a correct answer. Why? because it uh, actually doesn't matter if we have, for example, combination uh, A, B, and B, A. This would be the same combination, because when we have uh, uh, a cell, and inside the cell we have, for example, uh, two chromosomes, uh, we, it doesn't matter how these two chromosomes arranged, so we can have A here and B here, or vice versa. This uh, genetic makeup of the cell would be the same, right? There is no such things as uh, top and bottom, left and right. If these two uh, alleles present here, uh, that means that this would be uh, the genotype of the cell. A, B or B, A, and uh, this would be the same. So what does it mean? That uh, actually we have least number of genotypes here, and some of them would repeat. Just for example, we may have here, as you see, B, A genotype and A, B here. So this would be the same, right? And we have here CB genotype and BC here. So actually, uh, as you see, we have a repetition of genotypes, but uh, we would have only these genotypes here that would be unique. And let's count them. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
so the answer would be 10. And we don't have such an answer here. We have 6, 8, 16, more than 16 and none of the above. And this would be uh, the correct answer, answer E, none of the above, because the correct answer would be 10. So 10 different genotypes are possible here. And as you see, I simplified problem because uh, this would be uh, like over complication of the problem and this would be uh, how we can simplify this problem. And by the way, in the textbook you probably saw that um, uh, in the IBO blood group systems we also can notate uh, like uh, genotype A can be like uh, I a and IA for the uh, phenotype A and uh, it can be IA and IO but uh, as you see I simplify this also and this is AA and AO and this is the same what we have here so I just uh, get rid of this part and I think this is much easier now than what we have here. And this is what you usually can find in the textbooks. So my advice, just simplify the problem. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.